Hello, this is Sekimoto321, and this is the 22nd part of my Chivalry Medieval Warfare Weapon Guides. In this episode, we take a look at the second axe unlock available for the Men at Arms class, the War Axe. Chopping away. The War Axe was first developed in ancient times with the Stone Head, a variant of the typical axe. This one was designed for warfare. Later on, when made of iron, the War Axe developed a swapped out bottom, which created a hook with which to pull down enemy shields. The weapon was a common sight in the battlefield, as well as on many ships. Sailors would often use axes similar to the war axe to cut lines, and often go into battle with them. The war axe did dip out of popularity after the 11th century. This is most likely due to the rise of the sword, which is an all-around better killing weapon, and this took the axe out of most warfare situations. The war axe deals a surprising amount of damage to all classes. The Etro, however, is the weakest class. The LMB does swing blunt damage, and does a hefty amount of that. With 79 damage to the head, 63 to the body, and 50 to the legs, the LMB will always kill an archer in two hits. The Mouse Will Down attack sees a slight increase in damage. Again, dealing swim blunt damage, the archer will take 88 damage from a blow to the head, 70 from a hit to the body, and 56 from a smash to the legs. The step attack with the War Axe is highly ineffective. Dealing blunt damage, the Mouse Will Up attack does 30 damage to the head, 24 to the body, and 19 to the legs. Man in Arms class does receive a slight decrease in damage. This is likely due to the Man in Arms higher resistivity in terms of armor. The Man in Arms class, when hit from an LMB, will take 70 damage to the head, 56 to the body, and 45 to the legs. This attack, however, will likely kill in two hits, as most hits are to the body. Mouse Wheel Down attack against the Man in Arms does slightly better. Dealing 78 damage to the head, 62 to the body, and 50 to the legs, the Man in Arms class will always die in two consecutive overhead strikes. The stab attack is again next to useless, only to be used as a combo starter. At 28 damage to the head, 23 to the body, and 18 to the legs, the Man at Arms class is highly resistive to this attack. The Vanguard begins to show heavy resistance to the LMB attack. Only 57 damage is dealt to the head, 46 to the body, and 36 to the legs. A 2 hit kill is more than possible, however, a 3 hit kill is the more likely outcome. The Mouse Will Down attack is still a more likely 2 hit kill. At 63 damage to the head, at 51 to the body, and 41 to the legs, the Vanguard will likely die from a two overhead strikes to the head or to the body. The stab again would, should be conserved for a combo starter. Dealing a petty 26 damage to the head, 21 to the body, and 17 to the legs, the attack itself should never be used outright. The Knight holds a heavy resistance to all of the War Axe's attacks. The LMB attack will do a 44 damage to the head, 35 to the torso and arms, and 28 to the legs, a four hit kill minimum. The Mouse Will Down attack does slightly more damage at 49 damage to the head, 39 to the body, and 31 damage to the legs. This lowers the minimum hits to kill down to 3. The Mouse Will Up attack deals extremely limited damage at only 23 to the head, 18 to the body, and a pitiful 14 to the legs. The Mouse Will Up attack really should only be used for finishing weakened enemies or starting an engagement combo. The LMB and Mouse Will Down attacks should be used interchangeably at your primary source of attack. For our loadout, we look to create a heavy-hitting man-at-arms class, one that quickly dispatches your enemies before they have a chance to fully react, using the War Axe's heavy-hitting features to our own advantage. The primary slot will hold the War Axe. In the secondary slot, I chose to use the Saber. However, the secondary slot is not essential to the build, and therefore is not necessarily important. For the tertiary slot, or the special slot, we chose the Heater Shield to provide some defense when you need to fall back before charging the forward once again, especially useful when you need to recharge your stamina. The War Axe is a hard-hitting weapon that holds not back. Use it well in battle to fiercely decimate your enemies and leave them chopped to pieces.